Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nielsen Networking video. In the video ahead, I am going to show you seven must know and map scanning techniques in seven minutes. That said, let's just get right to it. All right, and to kick things off, we're gonna start with the most basic of all nmap scans, which is nmap without any flags and just the IP or the subnet range that you wanna scan. Go ahead and scan one of my devices here. And just like that, you're getting results. And you get quite a lot of information from the basic nmap scan here. Um, sometimes it can be overwhelming, but what you're gonna get here is you're gonna get the port, the state, and the service. So you get the port number, the protocol, and then you get the state, meaning is the port open or closed, and then the service. You know, it doesn't give you like version information or any of that yet, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So that's the first scan. All right, the second scanning technique I wanna show you is something known as OS enumeration. And what this means is we're gonna look up, we're gonna attempt to look up what the devices we are scanning, what operating system they're running. And to do it, it's pretty easy. We're just gonna go nmap, same thing here. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mix this up a little bit here. And I'm going to scan an entire subnet here. So what you do is you type in nmap, either the IP or the subnet of what you want to scan, and then you put a dash O, uppercase O. You could put the O before the IP, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put it after just to show you that you can mix it up and do it either in front of the IP or after. So let's go ahead and run it. All right, and we got the results here, and we'll start at the bottom. And since we did the entire uh, subnet, we're going to get a lot more devices, but Real quick, you still get the information, the store, uh, the state, the port, the service, uh, as you can see here, but you get additional information. So this IP address up here, this device, is actually running this version of Linux. And it doesn't usually tell you if it's like Kali or Ubuntu. Um, it just gives you kind of generalized information, but it does usually tell you the Windows version. Like this is Windows 10 running right here on this device. So you see, it's giving you that operating system information, which is what we wanted. And here's the uh, same one we scanned in the first technique. And you can see down here, it's running Linux kernel 2.633. And there you can take that and go out and see if there are any uh, known vulnerabilities for that. And that's how you would do it. All right, and for the third technique, we are gonna run something known as a ping scan. This is something you would do for like network discovery. You don't wanna run an actual port scan yet, but you wanna know what device is on the network. So what you're gonna do is go and map, and you're gonna do an S, uppercase P, lowercase s, uppercase P, and then you would put the uh, range that you want to scan. So I'm going to go ahead and again do my whole little private subnet here. Go ahead and let it run, and it comes back pretty quickly. And you can see it returns the results of nmap is scanning. Here's the report. So there's something here. You can see there's something here, here, but it doesn't give you a lot of information other than that there is a device at that IP address. Got it? All right, let's move on. All right, and the next thing I want to show you for technique number four is how to scan for a specific port to see if a specific port is open on a device or network. So what we would do is we would start off with an nmap, do a dash P, lowercase p, and then you would pick the port you want to scan. I'm going to scan for, let's say, SSH, and we'll go ahead and do 10.02.13. And what it's going to do is it's going to scan and tell you, yes, SSH is open. You can also put in, if you don't know the port, you can actually just put in the service and it will return it as well. So let's say you, you didn't know what port FTP was on, right? You run it and boom, it will tell you if it's running. You can do the same thing on the network again. You would just change this to a zero in your range. Got it? All right, let's move on. All right, and for the fifth technique, I want to show you how to look up the version of the service that is running on certain devices. So to do that, you're just going to go lo uh, dash lowercase s uppercase v and the IP of the device you want to scan. And you know what, let's mix this up. Let's do a different machine to start with. We'll let this run. And here we go. All right, this is not very entertaining, but we are running Apache on port 80. So let's, you know what, let's go back to the Metasploitable box, which is this box here that I know has a lot of services running um, that we'd want to look at that will give us some more information. And as you can see, here we go. All right, so as you can see, it's, it will tell us the version of the VSFTP it's running tells us the version of bind it's running, you know, on and on and on, and you can kind of see all this on your own. It's even running VNC, so that's that one. All right, the sixth technique I wanna show you kind of combines a lot of these other uh, scans we've been doing into one, and you say, why wouldn't I just wanna do this one? The reason you wouldn't wanna do this one is because it's very intrusive, it's very uh, CPU intensive on the machine you're running the scan from, and it takes a long time, depending on whether you are scanning a specific one specific device or a subnet. So that said, let's just get right to it. It's gonna be nmap dash uppercase A against the device. Go ahead and hit enter. 
All right, and here are the results. Let's go ahead and scroll up. And there's a lot of information here. And unfortunately, in this video, I don't have a ton of time to explain it all to you. If you want more details on this, again, I have great and map videos that go into 45 minutes of details on my channel. Check them out. Uh, but you can see here, it started off, it scanned the uh, FTP. Again, it's telling us the version here, so you can see it returned the version. It even went as far as to tell us whether it, uh, FTP had accepted anonymous login. You can go down here, SSH, it even has the uh, key, has the ciphers uh, for SSL, which it shouldn't be running, which would probably be a vulnerability, uh, and so on and so forth. You could check this out on your own. So. Let's go ahead and move on to our seventh and final technique. All right, and for the seventh technique, I need to show you probably one of my favorite flags is the script flag. And what that does is it goes ahead and tells MMAP to use a pre-written script. In this case, you can use scripts that you download off the internet, or you could you know, utilize your own if you wanted to write your own custom script, and it will go out and do whatever network task you're telling it to do. I'm going to be using the Voln script that is pre-built. That's how, it, how come I don't have to like point it to a certain location to tell it to run the script. It's pre-built in an end map. It knows where it is, and I'm gonna run it against one specific machine. And this is gonna go out and look for any vulnerabilities against that IP address. So I'm gonna run it. You could have done this against an entire network or like subnet, but that would take a really long time and we're getting really close to seven minutes. So that said, if you want more details or you want a video specifically on Nmap scripting, I have one on my channel. So check it out. And we got the results. And we'll go up here doo, 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 and we'll check them out real quick. So you can see right here, it's telling you that's vulnerable, tells you what the vulnerability is, gives you the CVE number. You could go and look it up and then it gives you a bunch of references and it does this for everything it finds. So it found the SSL, SSL poodle and so on and so forth. So you can see how great that script is. And again, there's tons of them out there that do a lot of different things. So that said, we're going to get to the uh, end of the video here where I beg for uh, liking or liking where I beg for likes and sub up if you enjoyed this video because I have a lot more coming. Thank you. Have a great day.